Hello and welcome back to I Made This. My name is Ollie, and as always, I'm really sorry it's taken me this long to get to a new video, but I haven't been resting on my laurels or my ass. <laughs> I have actually made three music videos this year with a fourth currently in pre-production, hence all the mess. And I have actually finished my T-Bone McLaser Blast figure. Uh, here's a quick sneak peek. I am actually really pleased with how he's turned out, if I uh, do say so myself. Um, still need to tinker with the moulds and the paint apps and things like that, but he's like 95-90% to 90 there. But that's a video for another day. Today I thought it'd be fun to go behind the scenes of one of the videos I released earlier this year for the band Great Gable and their latest single, So Cool. So yeah, without further ado, let's see how I got on. As you can see, I started off by buying loads of 1-6 scale uh, hoodies and jumpers and t-shirts, all white. And I also bought an assorted array of different coloured dyes because I'm actually going to be dyeing the miniature clothing. And I'm doing that because I want to have three distinct colour schemes for the music video. So one that's going to be like a turquoise and pink and with black and white highlights. Another one's going to be more primary colours, so yellows, reds, blues. And then the other one's going to be pastels, so kind of like peaches, turquoises and violets, things like that. And it was a lot of fun doing this. I'm sure the way I'm doing it is not the proper way to do it. I think you have to use salt and let it soak for hours but I just did it very quickly, just bashed it in the dye and I think it turned out pretty well to be honest. I think if you were to wash them, it wouldn't look that great. Here I'm giving a tie dye a go and this was a lot of fun actually and I think it worked out really, really well. I just put some dye in a pipette and wrapped up uh, the little miniature t-shirts and jumpers in elastic bands and as you can see, there's the final results and I think they look pretty cool. Uh, I had some leftover jeans from the Seven Dust video so I was well set for that and uh, those look pretty cool. I actually dyed a pair a bit darker as well just to kind of make it a little bit different. I also made some little hats out of um, EVA foam and I just got a template for a real hat and just scaled it down and cut them out. So on this video, unlike the last one, I made all the shoes out of FIMO just so they could hold their shape and look good throughout the video. So as you can see, I use wadding to pad the characters out, to flesh them out. Occasionally I'll use plasticine on the arms or things like that if they're exposed because they're wearing t-shirts. Um, but I just then dress them in the little miniature one six scale clothing and I think they look pretty cool actually. Uh, now it's time to make the instruments and I actually got the guys to send me pictures of their real guitars and drum kits just so that when I'm making them I can make them look as authentic as I possibly could. And then using FIMO I made various different versions of their instruments in loads of different colours and mix and match them with the different colour schemes. So as you can see you've got the primary colours there, the pastel colours and then the kind of like the neon colours. As for the drum kit, I actually reused the one from the Seven Dust video but just modified it and painted it up differently for each of the different colour schemes. This one I just threw paint at it, this one I painted it in pastels and I also subtly modified the artwork from the front of the drum kit just to fit the other colour schemes as well. And here are some little eyeball dudes which have got a little wire armature and uh, a ping pong ball for a body covered in plasticine. So the band had seen some of my previous work and noticed I'd done some hand-drawn and digital animation and they were very keen for me to put some of that in there as well. So there's a good chunk of the video that's actually drawn by hand and I crumpled up the paper and placed it under the camera and assembled it together using Dragon Frame. And I think it looks really cool and kind of really adds to that handmade aesthetic that I was going for the video. And as you can see, here's the final shot. I also did some digital animation and what I love about this process is that it's so simple to rough out your animations and get instant uh, playback just to see if it's working or not. And uh, as you can see I kind of messed up the hair a little bit there so it's a lot easier to kind of refine your animations as you go along. I mean I use Photoshop for my animations which probably isn't the best program ever but you know I make it work. So having just done a music video where I had to go in blind and kind of guess how the band played their instruments, you know, I'm not a musician at all. I was really keen to have actual footage of Great Gable playing their instruments so I could kind of mimic their hand movements for the guitars and drums and especially for the vocalist so I could get his lip sync spot on. And that was really, really helpful. 
So now it's time to start the actual stop motion side of the video and like the 7 disc video I just glued my characters down to the set. Uh, it just sped things up so I didn't have to use rigs and then have to spend a lot of time in post removing the rigs. And I didn't have much time to make this video, I had less than a month in total. So everything had to be done really quick. And that's another reason why I did the feet out FIMO so that when I was picking them up and moving them around the sets and gluing them down, the feet just stayed as they were. They didn't get damaged like they would if it was plasticine. Originally I intended to have more wide shots of the band in the video but just because of the time it just didn't really allow for it because to animate four characters at 24 frames a second it just really slows the process down. So for example one wide shot that has four characters and lasts two seconds could take me an entire day whereas I could animate eight seconds with four individual shots of each member in that same time period and Therefore, I've got more of the video done and utilised my time better because, as I said, you don't have much time to do these videos. So it's all about time management. And while a wide shot is more showy, sometimes it's just best to use the time you have to your advantage and get the video done in time so you reach that deadline. If you are interested in making stop motion, you don't need the latest and greatest in technology to achieve really fun shots. All I'm using here is a Lazy Susan, the kind that you decorate a cake on. And as you can see, you get really nice smooth motion and it lends itself to a really nice turnaround or rotating shot. The way I do that is I just sellotape a pencil onto it and mark out my arc of movement and then just jab the pencil into the foam core and then move it frame by frame. Here I am animating Callum, the drummer. I had so much fun animating these drum shots. That's probably why you see a lot of it in this little behind the scenes segment, but it was just really rewarding to to animate these drums and have them in time to the music and I loved doing the little flourishes like the hair moving and the cymbals moving it just really makes the character come alive I absolutely love doing these time lapses because if you speed them up enough you can actually see the character moving in real time but with your hands kind of like animating it at the same time it looks really cool um, here's the final shot in the video as you can see I added a bit of camera movement as well just to kind of up the kinetic energy of the song. So now I'm manipulating Chris the bassist's luscious long blonde locks <laughs> and then at moving his hands and his fingers on the fretboard. And I was really pleased with how this final shot turned out with his little hair flick. The text is animated in plasticine as well, you can't really tell, but, but it is. <laughs> and here I'm using a technique called smears and that's like where you kind of give the sense of motion blur by using like little lines and as you can see when you speed it up the little lines kind of create like a, a nice little motion blur as if the hand's strumming fast. And this is the very final shot I did on the video, it was about 3 in the morning and I had a couple of hours until I had to hand it in for the deadline and through the skin of my teeth I just about did it and here's the final shot. So it is uh, 5 in the morning and I've just finished my third music video of the year for the band Great Gable. Um, I'm very tired. <laughs> it's been quite a year. Uh, I, I wouldn't suggest making three animated music videos back to back. Um, you know, I've been doing 7 a.m. in the morning till, you know, past midnight pretty much every day. My wife has been a saint and uh, <laughs> uh, I, I owe her a lot, I have to admit. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna take a, a little bit of a break now and not do anything for a while. Um, play some video games, watch some films, but yeah, um, yeah. Hope you enjoy the videos, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye. And I am incredibly messy, and by the end of a production, my office is in absolute disarray, as you can see here. But yeah, I had an absolute blast working on this music video and I want to thank the band and the management for giving me such an awesome track to work with and I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek behind the scenes of said video. Uh, speaking of which, there will be more content coming to this channel sooner or later. As I said earlier, I'm currently in the pre-production stages of a new music video, but when I return, there will be the second part of the T-Bone McLaser Blast action figure build and also a second toy restoration where I'm going to be restoring this Toxic Crusaders hovercraft that was gifted to me by Mr. Dan Plastic at the most recent NEC Toy Fair. Um, but yeah, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, 
Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You can reach out to me on social media, on, on Instagram and Facebook. Just search for I Made This. And until next time, take care and goodbye.